Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your October reading, October 21. Thank you so much for being here. Let's look into your energy today. We are actually going to be focusing in on the energy of the Mercury retrograde because most of the month is going to be in Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde started September 27th and it will go until October 18th. And then after that is the shadow period. The shadow period will still feel like you're in Mercury retrograde sometimes, not all the time, a little bit, um, all the way until we get to November. So that's why we're gonna focus in on these energies because they're really, really big. We're gonna look into the energy of the sun, moon, and rising signs of the Gemini Collective. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everyone, but remember, cross watchers, the energies can be reversed, so assign the roles as you please. If the reading does not resonate with you, stick around because we're gonna be releasing the trapped emotions, we're gonna be talking about essential oils, and we're gonna be talking about crystals that you can use to maximize your energy. These messages are timeless, so it doesn't matter when you're brought to this reading and this channel, there's something in it for you. During this reading and during all of my readings, the angels are bringing the Holy Fire Reiki energy to you. If you're wanting to know about the All Signs Mercury Retrograde reading where I talk about how all of the signs are working in this energy together and what's happening with the big picture, that is on the screen right above me. You can click that link and it will take you right there. I always have suggested videos at the end of the videos as well, so check that out. I am doing personal readings, so if you go to the description box down below, then you can get to my website, which you can contact me that way. If you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell this way you get notified as soon as I post something new. Gemini, during the Mercury retrograde, your fifth house is going to be highlighted. The fifth house is about falling in love. It's about fun and games, romance, parties, and creative projects. You are an air sign just like Libra and Mercury retrograde is in Libra. And so we're going to be focusing in on communication and freedom. I have a feeling that falling in love is going to be about communication and freedom is going to be how you decide that you're going to navigate with this new love and what it's going to do for you and how it's going to bring out the freedom that you're looking for. The emotions that we're going to release at the end of this video are bitterness in your gallbladder and indecisiveness in your liver. So let's get started with the reading. I'm only accepting the highest and best truth for the Gemini Collective's highest and best good, bringing forth the most accurate answers. I want to thank the people who've already subscribed to my channel, who've supported me to 2,000 subscribers. If you're new here, welcome, and thank you so much for coming to my channel. I want to thank the people who've donated, who clicked on the links in my description box, who got personal readings from me, who watch my ads that are linked on this video and watch any any of my videos multiple times comment text me all of those things i'm going for a goal of 3,000 subscribers if you have not yet subscribed and you like to subscribe to this channel i'd appreciate it if you did so all right here we go guys i'm just as excited as you are to find out what's going on all right, Gemini, we got five cards out. We have, now I did get a, a sneak peek at the Eight of Wands, which is gonna probably be really important because it's the card of divine communication. Um, normally I don't see what's on the bottom of the deck when I'm shuffling, but for some reason I was led to kind of like, my eyes just went there and I was like, oh, they want me to see that. So I don't have it, but I did see it. So I, we already know that anyway, because we know that you're an air sign and communication is a big thing for Mercury retrograde. So um, page of wands is the overall energy for your reading. And that is good news, good communication happening trust building trust within your romance and expressing yourself in writing maybe to a lover reminiscing chats it's about expressing yourself and it's also about lengths like being done with something laying it all out shh, being this is what it is and there's there's an energy of rest and relaxation this could be a very comfortable romance as well it could be somebody that you're really comfortable with and so that could be it as well. This is like, this reminds me of the card of Sleeping Beauty, you know, where she's waiting for her prince to come. Um, and so uh, I have a lot of males who watch this channel as well. So I don't want to just 
pretend like we're talking about women's terms or anything. But this is somebody who's just laid themselves down. Their swords could no longer touch them. They no longer hurt them. They've dealt with those things. And so now they're moving into a different way of being. Because these, so these swords might be your old romances. Um, the old loves that you had. It's like boom, boom, boom. Hurt you three times, man. You know? And right now it's like, they're they're on the wall now so they're they're not touching you and the last sword is this one right here this is the one you're comfortable with it's like these are the ones that hurt you and this is the one you've always wanted and this is the one you're comfortable with you're so comfortable that you can you're like laying down on it right you like laid your sword down let's let's have these chats let's talk right ooh <laughs> that's cool all right so how are you feeling in this energy well you're feeling pretty dang good because you are the king of wands um the king of wands he is really good with communication so we got communication all over all over he's super self-aware he's very wise uh, and he knows how to express himself so if you're having to have conversations with someone you're gonna feel pretty dang good about it like you're going to feel eloquent with eloquent with your words. That's really good. The, the king of wands, although he communicates well, he communicates in a way that isn't like the king of cups, though. The king of cups is very heart centered in the way he talks. And he's very romantic and ideal romantic partner. Right. Um, I feel like you're going to come to this in a different way because whatever hurt you here, you're not ready to jump right into another relationship so dang fast. It's kind of like, you know what, let me just talk to this person, get to know them, make sure that that's really who they are, make sure we still jive together, make sure we still have chemistry, make sure we still have passion. Because I didn't say that, but you have a lot of passion in this month. We're talking about creative passion. So we have oils that go directly with passion. <laughs> Ooh, that's awesome. What is the next step for you, Gemini? Oh, man. It's like, you know, the next step is so beautiful. It's like raining down just this pentacles. Pentacles is in this. We're talking about love because that's what came up for you. That's the house that's highlighted. If you are a Gemini and you're not interested in love this month, um, that's the house that's highlighted. There's not much we could do about that. In your astrology chart, if you're a Gemini, you're going to have some love stuff coming up. You're going to want to be romantic. <laughs> okay. So, um... We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is long-term success. The next step is really looking at the long-term. Where are we going here, right? Uh, really looking at the things that um, maybe you felt like you failed in your last relationships over and seeing like, okay, well, what could I do? What could I, what do I have control over changing? where what what can i do and it's really this is this is actually i'm feeling like wild orange like abundance this is like opening yourself up and being okay with that and knowing that not everybody is like this not everybody is those three swords ready to just dive into you and hurt you no that you know that this this one down here is protected this one down here is more secretive it's more protected. It's kind of like, I don't ever want to lose that one, so I'm going to hide it underneath me when I'm sleeping. <laughs> okay, but this is beautiful. So the next step is just this beautiful card of the Ten of Pentacles. I love that card, by the way. That's a good energy that's coming up for you. It's very abundant. Very good. And we're talking about love. It's like being open and being ready and... Um, you know, creating a legacy with your love. That's beautiful. And if we're talking about security as well in love. Wow, that's gorgeous. And it could be a directly linked to your finances as well, where this love actually brings in some energy of financial abundance for you, which is good too. Okay, what's the obstacle in your way? The obstacle in your way is your own procrastination. <laughs> it's the indecisiveness that we're going to get rid of during the releasing of the trapped emotions at the end of this video. 
So, um, yeah, you know, we really want to flip that card over because that's where you're just shining really bright and your talent is shining. But the thing that's holding you back is the procrastination. Maybe you guys already know that, right? It's lack of progress. And um, in order to manifest and create this opportunity, you're going to have to take the step forward to make it happen. All right, what is the, the strength that's helping you? The strength is, is that you've already made the decision. You've already made the choice. You, you don't have to juggle this anymore. It's You've already made the choice that you're going to do this, that you're going to have this conversation, that this is something that you want. Uh, it's, it's like... Um, it's like the feeling of lo you lost it. So it's like, oh my gosh, no, I'm not going to lose it. I'm going to go in and get what I need. Uh, so the decision has been made. That is gorgeous. Um, so it's about, uh, you know, managing your time as well. Um, but yeah, you're able to manage your time. You've been thinking about this for a while. I think that's it. I think that's what I'm feeling is that... Um, you were feeling kind of like all over the place with this decision. And I think now you finally made the decision that it was time for you to come in and that you want to do this and you want to have this. So remember, you're in the one for you're in the feeling of romance and love. So I have a feeling like Gemini, it's probably you bringing in this cup of love to someone because you're feeling it really strongly this month. It's like God is Cupid is coming your way. It's like valentine's day for you right and it's all about fun and games you just want to have fun you know it's like i'm hearing girls just don't want to have fun what do you want and i don't know how it goes but you know something like that like you're just like and maybe you're not a girl maybe you are a guy but <laughs> it doesn't matter it's like that's how you feel like you want to bounce around in a tutu with some dyed hair like cindy lopper right <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> all right um and the outcome is that you are so done with this, this decision. You're ready to come in. Like, you're ready. This is a ready card. That's gorgeous. You're, you want to be done with the old and bringing in the new. And that's interesting because Aries had that too where they're working on partnership and marriage and they want a new start with someone in the past. Now, this is somebody that you already know or someone of the past because we're in the retrograde. So I don't think it's going to be anybody new. You really don't want to be out going out to going to bars. And that's what I told Aries too. This isn't the time for that um, because you're going to find a weirdo. You're going to find a crazy person. Uh, you're going to find like where they look really good on the outside. And then you realize, oh my gosh, this person is not. It's going to be another sword and you don't want that. That. Don't be going out and trying to find someone new. This is someone that you know. This is someone that you're ready to uh, to take a step forward with. Um, the ten, the ten of wands, is about taking responsibility for your love and um, putting the, the this burden down of thinking that you don't deserve love. Of course you do. It's about. Um, not stressing over this anymore. It's like you've made the decision that this is going, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be a big boy or a big girl and I'm going to pull my big boy or big girl pants up and I'm going to go in and I'm going to go talk to this person. Um, and so that's beautiful. It's like having the determination. I want to dive into that a little bit more just because some of my besties are Gemini. So <laughs> I need to make sure they got the full, the full, uh, what's going on here because they're going to ask me and I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> You're going to be like, what do you think about this? I don't know. Let me check it out. And it is my last reading for tonight. So I think I can dive in a little bit longer. All right, Gemini, what do we have? Cups overflowing. It's going to be some work and diligence, but it is timing is right. And we got the communication card. That's why I was supposed to shuffle because I was supposed to have that card a long time ago. All right. Um, we have, I think maybe you've gotten a lot of abundance lately. Maybe something happened where you got some better money or a better job or a better something. And so you're feeling really good about yourself internally. You feel like you have all your ducks in a row or before you didn't feel that way. And now you feel a little bit more uh, like you've succeeded a lot, a lot more. Like you feel like you're successful. Um, the seven of cups 
is um, you kind of know what your purpose is now. Maybe you have gotten some intuition about this person and you're kind of seeing about what it is. And it's about making choices as well. So this is a, a cup where uh, a card where maybe you had multiple people in your life that you can make a choice from. And you're like, this one, that one, this one. No, I really, really want this other one that I, I've been holding secret to, that I've been holding underneath, you know, underneath my bed per se, right? Like the person that you, um, you think about when you're alone, <laughs> doing whatever you do when you're alone. <laughs> and that's the one that you want. You're like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to stop like talking myself out of this. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to do this. Um, you have the, this is the card of, 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 you've worked really hard on this. You've thought really long and hard about this. It's about knowing that when you come to this person, you're going to have to level up. You're going to have to learn some things from them. And you're okay with it though. You're like, it's okay. Cause I, I do want to learn this. And I think this person knows how to do this. You've taken the long-term view. Like you can see yourself getting old with this person. You see this person as worth investing in and worth investing your time. And it's almost like you don't even care if it took forever. Like you would be willing to wait as long as you had to wait for this person um, that you've searched your whole life for someone like this and if I have to wait a month a year two years five years I don't care I really don't want any more of these other cups that I've, I've checked out a lot of other people and I just don't want them I just don't want them I want this person. This is who I want. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. So this is the timing is right. You're feeling really good about the timing and you're ready to bring in that divine communication. You're ready for God to speak through you. You're ready to, to pick up that pen, you know, to pick up that phone. You're ready to do it. Like you're so ready. And you're like, I'm ready to invite my angels and guides in to help me walk through this. I know that I'm not on my own when I talk to this person. Uh, I know this person can see the bigger picture and that's why I, I love this person. I love this person because they can see that. And you're like, you know what? I'm ready for the communication that I will allow my angels and spirit guides to help guide me through this communication so that I can put that burden down of not talking to this person or that burden down of not having that conversation or that burden down of not having love. Like I deserve love. I, I, there's no reason why I don't deserve love and I totally deserve this. I'm going for it. And so I, f I feel the energy of going for it. Wow. Since you guys have the romance card, I mean the romance um, house that, you know, the fifth house, the falling in love. Let's see what's going on with romance. And then I'll even pull some cards on what are they thinking about you? <laughs> All right. This is beautiful. I can't wait. I want to see what it is. <laughs> Can't wait any longer. Okay, so there's some belief systems that you have that have been holding you back. But your, your romantic feelings are so strong this month. And you're like, you know what? I love myself so much that I will go in and talk to this person. Like I've gained enough love for myself that I'm going to go in and actually talk to this person. Um, because you want to be with this person forever. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I love it. So yeah, we got some belief systems, some um, something about maybe even your spiritual path that maybe you've learned something about your spiritual path that's making you move towards this person even more because you're like, I got the intuition. I got what I needed. Maybe you went to go see a medium or something and they were like, oh my gosh, that is your soulmate or oh my gosh, that is your twin flame. <laughs> something happened that made you go, I got to talk to this person. And you have such strong romantic feelings. Like I said, you think about this person when you're all by yourself. Um, and so that's good. Uh, let's see. And it's about loving yourself first. Like you totally deserve being loved. So go for it. Let's get some cards that say, um, what are they thinking of you? And then we'll check out the essential oils. Let's see what the essential oils were. Neroli and passion oil. I don't have either one of those, those here because those are my bedside table oils. Those are the ones that like, and they heighten the passion in the bedroom. So I don't have them, but I'll put them in the description box down below. Uh, Neroli is a roller bottle. And I like to put those over my sacral chakra uh, because if I'm wanting to get in intimate, I want to get intimate. <laughs> I don't want anything holding me back. Like I want that experience in its fullness, not some cheap trick, right? Um, 
As I'm talking about connection. Oh my gosh, I told you, you are my secret passion. Ooh, so when you're thinking about this person, when you're alone, I bet you they're thinking about you too. I bet you it is reciprocal. I bet you you're both doing that together. <laughs> like you're each on each other's minds as you pleasure yourself. That's awesome. Okay, I wasn't looking for this, but uh, I don't know how to deal with this. Oh, so this person... Um, didn't realize how fast and how strong this relationship was. This person, um, man, it's like one day they just were awakened to it and they're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what do I do? Ooh. So you are like my long lost best friend. So this is a deep connection and I love your sense of humor. That's that's awesome. You are pretty funny, Gemini. So I, I agree with that one. Um, so let's see, let's look at yours. We already talked about your essential oils. We have neroli, which is great, and passion oil. Passion is great for creativity as well. Cinnamon is in both of those. Uh, oh no, not in neroli. Cinnamon is in passion, and that's where the creativity and the passion, the connection, and oh my gosh, you guys, this is beautiful energy for the month. Hello. I'm gonna get some really exciting stories from my Gemini friends from their their romances. Wow, I can't wait. I think we're having some serious conversations. <laughs> wow. You're so lucky. Gemini, I love it. Okay, let's see what your crystal is and then we'll release the trapped emotions for your sign, okay? Felt it. What is this? Ooh, my goodness. Black kyanite which is set strong boundaries. Yeah, whenever you're, we're, we're talking about romance and love, you guys can get so like love drunk that we need to make sure that you set some good boundaries though, right? Boundaries are great. Boundaries are awesome. That's what keep us happy. You know, that's probably why you're holding on to some bitterness. Maybe somebody walked over your boundaries. I can probably guarantee you that in your past relationships, you had some boundary issues. Most people do. All right, so it's about creating strong boundaries and enabling healthy relationships because that's what you're going for this time. This time you're actually looking for a healthy relationship. You don't really care about looks, although the person is really good looking, um, but that's not the thing that attracted you to them. You like their intelligence. You like their connection. You like um, how deep they are, how sweet they are, how sensitive they are, all of these things. You really do like those things about this person. And so um, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for something a little bit, you're looking for something a lot more healthy, right? Than what you've dealt with in the past. But this crystal will help you if you need to say no to something um, and to help you separate your own needs from other people's needs and their day-to-day -day routines. Because Gemini, I have a feeling that you take care of a lot of people. So this would be really good to make sure that when you go into a new romance or a new relationship, or uh, I'm sorry, a renewed romance and a renewed relationship, a, a romance with someone that you already know, somebody that you've already had feelings for. That person has feelings for you. You probably don't know it. I'm sure that you guys have probably never talked about it. That could be the case for some of you, not all of you. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's about setting limits so that your cup is full before you try to pour into other people's cups with an empty cup. Um, so a great affirmation for you is I care for myself and others by maintaining firm boundaries with people in my life and then start saying no to people. <laughs> there you go. All right. So go ahead and sit back. We're going to release these trapped emotions so that you can, one of the trapped emotions is indecisiveness. We need to release that so that you guys can come forward with this great feeling of communication. Like I want to communicate with you. <laughs> sit back and listen to the music relax yourself as much as you can. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. I want you to keep breathing as I invite Archangel Michael in. And Archangel Michael, I ask for your assistance, please. And I ask for Gemini's angels and spirit guides and loved ones and spirit to be with them here while they release these trapped emotions. Very good. Keep breathing, Gemini. So Gemini would like to release the bitterness that's been hiding in their gallbladder first. And so breathe in and breathe out. And maybe your angels and your guides have shown you something 
that makes you feel really bitter. And if you don't see anything or you don't feel anything, then I want you to think about something that you feel today that is really making you upset. Like, I'm feeling like some of you guys have people in your existence that you don't want there and you're like, go away, okay? So that bitterness of like, you're ruining this experience for me, go away. <laughs> Some like annoying kind of bitterness. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and get that person's annoyance and bitterness that's coming up, breathe in. Or the times that you felt left out or the times that you felt like you didn't get what you wanted, breathe out. We're gonna make it really big this time. We're gonna breathe out and we're gonna give that to Archangel Michael. Ready, breathe in. Grab all of it. Grab all the bitterness out of your, your bladder and make it really big and breathe out. Archangel Michael, I ask that you transmute that bitterness into light energy so that Gemini no longer has to deal with that anymore. We're going to go in and get the indecisiveness so that Gemini can finally talk to the person they really want to talk to. Breathe in. Breathe out, Gemini. Breathe in. And all those things that are making you procrastinate. And all those things are making you indecisive. Breathe and breathe those out. Ready? Breathe out. Give it to Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, um, we ask that you take this indecisiveness and you transmute it into light energy. So that Gemini doesn't have to be indecisive anymore. And they can get things done. They can do the communication things that they want to do. And they can talk to the people they want to talk to. And they can get the love that they deserve. All right. That was so beautiful. Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. And thank you to the angels and spirit guides and the loved ones and spirit that joined us today for the Gemini Collective so they can release these trapped emotions. Gemini, that was gorgeous. That was beautiful. Thank you so much for coming today. And thank you for all of your support and your love. I'm so grateful. If you want to see that video I was talking about for the Mercury Retrograde for the All Signs reading where we talked about every single sign, it is right here on the screen. And also your playlist for the Gemini Collective is there as well. And I cannot wait to see you again for my next reading. You guys have a great day. Bye!